Camille. So, the other day I filmed a video with my friend Maddie, who is also a teen mom, and we talked about Daniel Kahn's pregnancy. We weren't bashing her or anything, we were actually giving her advice because we know how hard it is being in her situation. Obviously, we were in a situation where we were pregnant at a young age. My friend was 14, I was 16. So we really just felt for her and wanted to give her our advice because I know she was getting so much hate for being pregnant at 15. So I made a little video to post and hopefully she would see it. A few days later, it comes out that she was actually faking her pregnancy for views. Let me just repeat that. She faked being pregnant at 15 years old for money and views and clout and subscribers. So, first of all, <laughs> I feel dumb for feeling bad for this girl. As a teen mom, I feel for every single teen mom out there, every single pregnant teen who is scared, no matter what their reputation is in the past, because Danny does not have a good reputation in the past whatsoever, <laughs> regardless of what anyone has done in the past, because before I got pregnant, my past was kind of rough as well. I always just feel for them, because I know how hard it can be. It's scary. It's a scary situation to be in. No one can tell you otherwise. It's really scary being a pregnant teen. And I felt really bad for her, especially being that she has as many followers as she does and she was getting as much hate as she is simply for being pregnant at 15. Today we're gonna to be talking about Daniel Cohen and her pregnancy. Cause we had a kid at a young age and now she's having a kid at a young age. So we're just gonna kind of give our perspective, our reaction and just kind of our advice. To yeah. Her. Because being a team mom is not easy. Mm -hmm. so. If you do not know who Daniel Cohen is, she got famous for not the best reasons. I guess her main thing, the main reason she's known is for being a little too provocative for her age. She yeah. is 15 and people say she dresses too scandalous and she shouldn't be like dancing the way she does. She does TikTok, so she's always making little like belly dancing videos yeah. and I can understand why she gets some of the hate she does. I'm not saying she's a horrible person. My opinion on her previous to this situation, I just kind of thought probably shouldn't be doing that and I yeah. don't really see how like as a parent they kind of let her do that. A few days after I filmed that video with Maddie, it came out like I said, she faked it all. So yeah, I feel pretty dumb for feeling bad for her because of course, obviously she's not pregnant. And I really believed it for some reason. A lot of people didn't, but I believed it because I thought who in the world would fake being pregnant at 15? She posted a four part series about her pregnancy. The first part was them telling his parents, the guy's parents, his name's Mikey. By the way, he has just as much fault in this as her. I just want to put that out there. I'm extremely upset at both of them. But yeah, they told his parents in the first video. That one did seem a little fake to me, just the way they were talking. It just didn't flow very naturally. It seemed very staged and scripted in my eyes, especially because I have been in that situation where you tell your parents you're pregnant and I know kind of how that conversation goes. And the way that one went that I watched, it went really weird. Can you please tell me what Wait, is going on before I just get to oh, the a pregnancy test? A pregnancy test. Okay. And, and it's negative, it's right? Negative, right? No. no. It came out positive. What? Are you serious right now? But oh. then, we were like, oh, this is a wait, 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 is it Mikey's? I don't know why, that should have been the first red flag that this pregnancy was fake, but. After that, she posted the second part, which was them getting married. Welcome to the Little Vegas Chapel, and welcome to a celebration of love and friendship and commitment. People kind of found out right away that it wasn't a real marriage. It was just kind of like a fake ceremony, mostly for clickbait. They titled the video, we're getting married or we got married. I mean, I thought that was kind of whatever, like faking a wedding for clickbait, I'm not really surprised. <laughs> but I still did believe she was pregnant. I thought they were just kind of doing it to commit to each other on a deeper level. I thought it was dumb, but I was like, oh well, they they seem like they're committing to each other, so I guess that's good. They're gonna raise this baby together. But of course, it was obviously for clickbait. And then the third video was them going to an ultrasound. Okay. 
They went to what people are speculating is a dentist's office and they got one of the nurses in their little scrubs to hand them a piece of paper and be like, here you go, here's your results, see you next time or something like that. Well, your ultrasound went very well. If you know the gender, please keep it a secret. Good luck, and we'll see you at your next appointment. Uh. That whole video seemed very scripted and weird and just off, and I definitely started to kind of think, maybe this whole thing might be fake at that point. I don't know. Why did they go to a dentist's office to get an ultrasound? But I still didn't really want to believe that someone would fake a pregnancy at 15. I just gave her the benefit of the doubt, just because I see the good in people, and I saw the good in her and Mikey. And then the fourth video comes out, which was today, I just watched it, and it was a prank. <laughs> That's kind of when we found out. It was the gender reveal, and then they pop the balloon, and they're like, oh, it's a girl, and they're like, also, it's a prank. I'm not actually pregnant. Oh! And then they gave a really crappy disclaimer apology thing at the end, which left me even more upset than I already was. We didn't mean to offend anyone if you got offended or if you looked at it in a wrong way. Teen pregnancy is something that we don't take lightly. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, why do you care? <laughs> why does this upset you so much? I don't understand. Especially some of the younger viewers and especially some of Danny's fans might be watching. As a teen mom, I went through a lot. All teen moms go through a lot. As much as people love to hate on teen moms, it's a really tough situation to be in and anyone who makes it through that situation is so strong. People get kicked out of their house for being pregnant. People go to their parents and say, mom and dad, I'm pregnant, and they get kicked out and get to take a little garbage bag over their shoulder filled with all their clothes. A young pregnant girl on the streets with her baby in her stomach. That happens more often than you think. People get told all the time by their boyfriends, get an abortion, and some of them actually do it. And I'm not here to talk about abortion or my opinions on it, but no one should be told to get an abortion who wants to keep their baby. When I wanted to keep my baby and I told everyone I'm gonna keep her, I got told so many times to get an abortion and that is just cruel. To tell a happy expectant mother to get an abortion, I don't know, it just hurts my heart. And it hurts my heart even more for the girls out there who wanted to keep their baby, but their boyfriend made them their boyfriend kicked them in the stomach, their parents made them. A young girl who wanted to raise her baby and do the right thing, but decided against that because of other people were pressuring her to. That happens all the time. Teen pregnancy is a very, very serious topic. And it is so disgusting and just wrong to fake a teen pregnancy, especially with how much of a following she has, it just blows me away. She has like 3.5 million Instagram followers. It'd be one thing if it was just a prank, like a little prank video that they posted where they tell their parents and then like, oh, just kidding, I'm not actually pregnant. People post videos like that all the time. A lot of people do get upset at those videos for a lot of reasons, especially being that there's women out there who can't get pregnant and to joke about it is wrong and there's people out there who have lost their babies and to just joke about such a serious topic, it's wrong in general. But to carry this on for like two weeks, that's more than just wrong. That's absolutely horrible. To let three million people believe that you're pregnant at 15 for weeks on end, I don't understand why. <laughs> I do understand why. I do. Because she probably got lots of followers from this and lots of money and she put so many ads in all of her pregnancy related videos and she made a ton of money off of us. All of us who believed she was pregnant. All of us who sat here and watched her videos. She made a lot of money off of us. And at 15 to have your judgment so clouded by dollar signs. Oh my gosh. It just blows my mind. Like sure, she gained a bit from this, but 
now everyone is really upset with her. She lost all of the following that she just gained for being pregnant. And now she has a reputation for being a liar. What she did was not a prank, as she's calling it. She keeps calling it a prank. That's not a prank. She, she pulled a publicity stunt on us. She faked a pregnancy. It's not a prank. You can't call that a prank. Oh guys, I pranked you, I got you. No, that is not a prank. That is not a prank. There is such a difference between pranking someone that you're pregnant and faking a whole pregnancy. Even if it was just for a few weeks. It just went way, way, way too far. And for her not to recognize that, especially her little apology at the end of the video, and I say apology very lightly, she said, sorry if I offended anyone. That is not an apology. That's sorry if I upset you. That's like the oldest trick in the book, saying you're sorry that you upset them is not the same as saying I'm sorry. It's 100% not okay. It's not. <laughs> And I really hope, with all the hate that she's getting, that she understands what she did was very, very wrong. As a teen mom, as someone who went through a teen pregnancy and got ridiculed and had a really rough time, for her to do this, it enrages me and disgusts me. What my channel is all about is showing that teen pregnancy isn't the end of the world and showing that you can turn it into a positive thing and your life isn't over. I feel like it was very damaging to everything I've been building and everything that the teen mom community on YouTube has been building. We've been working so hard to just prove to people that teen parents aren't all bad parents. And for someone with such a platform like her to just come on here and kind of tarnish the name of teen pregnancy and then just to say it was all a joke, it's really offensive to me and everyone else here on YouTube who is trying to prove the stereotypes wrong. And I can just imagine a young pregnant girl watching those videos and seeing how their family reacted and they were all screaming and yelling and hitting and pointing fingers. And I can't imagine someone watching that video, pregnant, scared, haven't told their parents yet, and thinking like, oh my gosh, is this what's gonna happen when I tell my parents? And it just invokes fear. I don't know. I just hope they don't watch her videos <laughs> and they watch my videos and see that it's really not the end of the world. I don't even know what to say at this point. I'm so mad right now. I came on here the second I found out it was fake and just started filming because I'm just, I'm appalled. I, I don't even know what to say. I just really hope no one thinks that this is okay. She has a lot of young followers. I hope that people don't start faking pregnancies at a young age for fame because they saw Danny do it. I hope this doesn't become a trend. I hope that people understand how awful what she did was. And I hope people understand that teen pregnancy is a very serious topic that shouldn't be joked about, ever. I just can't help but think about a family member of mine who has been trying to conceive a child for eight years. Her and her husband are just the most amazing couple ever and they would make such good parents. Pregnancy, it's just, it's such a blessing. Nobody really understands until you get pregnant or until you want to get pregnant and you can't or until you lose a baby how much of a blessing it is to be able to do that and for her to joke about it it just makes me feel so bad for everyone in those kinds of situations i'm getting so heated <laughs> like i i wish i could just talk to danny danny if you're watching this i really hope you take this message in and understand and actually feel sorry because I know in your video you said, oh, I'm sorry if I upset anyone. But I really hope that deep down you are actually sorry. Not just sorry that you upset people. You're sorry for what you did. Anyways, I guess that pretty much wraps up today's video, guys. I'm sorry if this wasn't the funnest vlog. It's just something that I needed to talk about and get out into the world. And maybe Danny will see it. Maybe she won't. I just hope my message gets out there to as many people as possible. And that's all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video, Kamalee. Okay,